All right, good morning everyone from Taitung. We've made it to Taiwan's east coast and today we're going to get our first impressions. We're going to see what it's like over here. Straight away though, the mountains back in the city are well nice. So we've got the coast, we've got the mountains. What's not to love? Here we go. First, we're going to walk up to a viewpoint over the city, but before we do that, we need some breakfast. Now this spot looks really good on this street. Look at this, we're going to head into here. Now Taitung is well known for having delicious rice noodles. So this should be good. So we'll have a look in here, we'll sit in. Anyhow, hello, good morning. Can we go in? Okay. Here we go, it looks very classic. Look, we've got the TV with the news on. How typical. Where should we go? Should we go on this nice round one? I love these kitchens here. You can always see everyone cooking. Okay, so look at the menu and order some. Okay. Shish here. This is massive. Look at the size of that. Okay, okay. Chopsticks are here. Shish here. Great. So we've ordered and the food's come. And I didn't expect it to be this big of a portion. So we've got two dishes. I like how they've come in these silver bowls. I like these. So let's just get some chopsticks. I'll just show you what we've got. We've got two different noodle dishes here. One is with sesame paste, we've got sesame paste, we've got ground pork, bean sprouts, a bit of veg, and then we've got some of these noodles, rice noodles. And then, now this smells very strong. So, these on top are bonito flakes. Now, I didn't even know what these were. I had to really Google it. They are dried, smoked, fermented fish flakes. Now, that sounds very strange, doesn't it? But I'm guessing they're delicious because everyone's eating them. And what else is in here? We've got a bit of... Uh, ground pork, maybe some more sesame paste a little bit, and then we've got the thick rice noodles. Now these are the Tai Thung special. Can you see they're really thick? They look really good. So this is what we've come for, because apparently this part of the country has very good rice. It's the rice bowl of the country, apparently, and rice noodles should be a winner. So I think we just give these a mix up, throw some of this sauce in, some pepper, and then, yeah, there we go. I'm just going to quickly show you around, because it's really cool in here. It's like it's like someone's house, look. We've got like the shelves over there, calendars up, open air kitchen, TV on wall. We've got the, um, every kid in the restaurant is looking at us. No, it's really nice in here, so yeah, let's tuck in. Let's try this bad boy bowl of noodles then. Honestly, this thing is massive. Look how much, there's so much in there. Now the smells are very strong. We're getting like a really strong sour smell from that chili after it, it was a bit sour. So we'll just try this. Get some fish flakes, some of the pork, bit of everything. Cheers. Come oh, on. Wow. That's very interesting. These bonito flakes, the little fish flakes, are actually really tasty. They're just slightly fishy, a little bit smoky. This is really good. The noodles are chunky, hearty, and there's like a sourness coming through. I think that's from this chili sauce I threw in really sour and um, it's got a little bit of a kick as well so that's just a tap of um, fermented chili I think but that's really good and that's gonna fill you up in it like that's what you want for breakfast then we'll quickly try these sesame paste noodles look at them they smell well good honestly so just get a little mouthful of these oh I said a little Oh, that's interesting. Really dry, obviously, because it's just a paste. The paste is like coated the noodles. It's really dry, but it's delicious. Really interesting little breakfast. This. Tasty dishes, friendly people. Perfect way to start our day here in Taipei. How's it all? Okay. Do do a shout in. What's that? See how much it is. Okay. I don't know what that is, but we'll see. Okay, Shishi, thank you so much, thank you. Okay, Shishi, goodbye. Really good, that spot. Really good little breakfast, perfect way to start the day. Now let's go. Head up that little mountain. 105 it cost us for both of those bowls of noodles. Now I don't reckon that's too bad. Delicious they were. But yeah, what's going on here? We just crossed the road because we saw this massive crowd of mass in here. Look, everyone's bloody piled in. I think it is it a, what is it, Leash? Fish. Fish. 
So it's a seafood sale. Why is it so busy though? Like, look, they can't even, they can't even get in here. I'm going it's a really good deal. Maybe. It's got the microphone on. To be fair, his seafood looks really good. The crabs look good. Everything's really fresh. Anyway, there you go. A bit of um, some street scenes here in Taekdong. Look at the queue. It must be good. Uh, let's get out of here. It's absolutely packed. It's hectic. I think we're in like a market area. We were on the way to walk up the hill, but because Leash is a serial claw machine addict, she's spotted these geese and she's going to try and win one. Look at them with the little necker things on. They're looking quite smart, aren't they? They're cute. Have you got a ten? I have five in my bag. Shit. Do I have a ten? Maybe I... Oh wait, I've got a ten. There we go, let's have it. Um. Well, have you, eh, mate? Oh, shit grabber that. Doesn't grab. No good. Boom. All right, we're about to head up Liu Shan, Mount Liu, a little mountain here in Taitung. But look at this at the bottom. You can see the effect of one of the past typhoons. Holy moly, it's uprooted that massive tree. There's a really nice looking temple at the bottom you can hear the music coming from. Maybe we'll check that out on the way down, but we're gonna go straight up to the top wherever that is. It's really beautiful around here. I hope it's going to be nice and peaceful. I'm sure it will be. So I think it's up here. Right, so we're going to take this path up to the scenic platform, 660 meters. Just got speaking to some really nice locals. They said the best view is over there. And they said, they said this mountain is actually shaped like a fish, which is really cool. So we're going to go up to the fish's head. That's what he said. I don't think it'll take long. Nice to just walk in the nature though, innit? Get some fresh air. And yeah, people in Taiwan, as always, dead nice. We're halfway up and already got some gorgeous views. Look at this. Can't wait to get to the top. We've got a clear day for this one. Let's keep going. It's only a short walk, I reckon like 20 minutes. But it's, it's going to be well nice. Look at that. Ni hao, how are you? Beautiful view. Uh -huh. Biao Liang? Biao Liang? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Everyone's up morning hike. Local people are always so nice. They're always so full of uh, like joy, happiness. They're, they're always proper nice. Just made it to the top. Wait until you see the views up here. It's bloody beautiful. Look at this. You can see over all Taitung City. You can see all the mountain ranges, the back Taiwan's east coast. Got a clear day, look at the clouds as well. Wow, over there it looked gorgeous. And then on this side, you can see the sea. And the sea looks so blue. In another video, we're gonna to have to get some bikes and cycle down the coast, honestly. You can just, but look how beautiful Eastern Taiwan is. Now, Taitung is so nice because there's not that many high rises, like it's pretty flat compared to other cities anyway, look. Look around. So it's chilled out. Right, I'm gonna teach you something now. You're gonna learn something today. So we are in Mount Liu. Now, Liu means carpfish and Shan means mountain, so Liu Shan, where we are now, means carp fish mountain. Carp mountain. And it's, they say it's in the shape of a carp, that's where it got its name from. Really cool place. What a beautiful place, bang in the middle of Taitung City. What do you think, Leish? So nice. It's like peaceful. You can see green. Everything's like just chilled out. It's nice. It's yeah. a nice city to be there. And there's fresh air up here. It's got like a cool breeze, you know. This city is fresh. It feels fresh. You know, the East Coast feels fresh. There we go. Beautiful, isn't it? We're down here at the temple area now, and we just spotted this little tower, so we're gonna see if we can actually climb up that. Maybe get a view of this temple from the top. Now, it's Sunday today, so we've just got loads of people chilling out in here. There's dogs everywhere, there's old men playing like um, some sort of chess. I don't know what they play here. Really cool, chill vibe. 
So let's see, can we go up here? See this man sat here on the bench with his feet up. We just walked past and I said, up here? He just went. So I think that's the seal of approval. So we're going to go up. The gate is open. So let's check the view out from the top of one of these. I've never been up one of these little temple towers yet. We've got a spiral staircase. Please come one of our viewers, tell us what this floor is. So we've got all these little lockers and they've all got like a little key on. Is it people's ashes in here? Or just um, people who've passed away as things or what? Please could you explain what this is? Because we've got this full floor of these little lockers and some really cool old pictures of the people. That's not. I'll tell you what, this staircase is knackering, but we're at the top floor now, so let's take a look at the view. It's really nice, this actually. Every floor has got something different in. So, yeah, here is Liu Shan, where we've just walked up to the top somewhere over there. From up here, you get a really nice view of this temple, don't you? Look at that, it's beautiful. In the trees, gorgeous. And yeah, we've never been at one of these, we're right at the top. You see the dragons on the top. So if we just have a little walk around. You can see where we just walked. Really? Can you see? Oh yeah, yeah, over there. Okay. Again, another really nice view. Yeah, I'm gonna say I really like Tai, tai Dung City. Nice place. Nice and windy. The East Coast needs to be windy and breezy and the cool breeze. Nice, nice. Should we make one of those goddamn awful videos? KFC in Taiwan is not like it is in America. So much better than the USA. If you're making them videos, do us a favour and get yourself in bin. We found the source of the karaoke. Look at this. She's belting them out. Go on then. Look at her. To the big crowd. Not too fair. She's adding a bit of a nice ambience to the um, Carp Hill. She's going for it though. Giving it the big foot taps. No, it's a good vibe here. Everyone's in a good mood. It's nice. What do you think? It's nice. It's just funny. She's there singing the karaoke and the boys are over there playing chess. It's like OAP heaven. <laughs> like, it's so nice that they can just come here and do something. So this is bloody hilarious. We've had to come and sit in here and watch a bit of this karaoke. Look, we've got a big van there, boots lifted open, telly's in. Just a bit of karaoke here in the park. Look at this. What a setup. Got the words on over like a nice video of like the countryside. She's selling drinks. Oh. She's selling like tea, I think, and coffee out there. So it's a shop, it's a shop that sells snacks and drinks. Double there's a karaoke. You've got to love it. Right, big boss man's on. He's just come up from his chair, had a bit of a stretch. He's got his mic. He's bloody sanitised, he got it ready, cleaned it. What do you think? stage presence is just... <laughs> There we go, we spent a good 15-20 minutes sat here listening to this. What a nice thing to do on a Sunday. Okay, goodbye. You're very good. Legend then. Just stood up, belted out like two or three songs, chilled out his head, then just sat down. Yeah. You gotta love them. So we were just in the shop and I saw a shelf full of these bad boys. Now these looks like the greatest thing ever. I had to buy them, 55 Taiwanese dollars. They are like mango what's-its. Like mango puffs. How good does that sound? Asked the lady in the shop, she said they are from here. She said you can't get them anywhere else, so. We'll trust her on that. Let's try one. It smell really good. It's not well good. Let's get some out. There we go. Just like little mango watsits. I 
I love them. They're really good. So weird, it's like a mango flavoured crisp. They're well good. Really good. Mmm. They smell so good. They do look exactly like what's it, but I'm guessing they're going to be sweet. Oh yeah. Mm. You know what they taste like? They taste like cereal. That's it. Like you sweet could cereal, eat yeah. Them with milk. That's it. It tastes exactly the same as the cereal. My God. You know, probably my favourite crisp ever. Had. One of mm. mango flavoured crisps. And we get them here. They're, they're game changing, honestly. I knew as soon as I saw that beautiful golden bag. So in shop they also sold another flavour of these crisps. The lady said these are creamy coconut flavour, again from here, so we're gonna have to try them. They smell like off coconut milk, they smell a bit funky don't oh, they? Oh they smell sour, yeah. Let's try them. A bit fermented. They taste alright. A little bit of a very mild coconut flavour. They're okay with the nuts, the mango ones. Oh, mango ones are amazing, they're okay. I just realised there's a map on the back and it tells you what shops sell them and the only shops in Taitung. There we go. There we go. Have you eaten these before? If not, try the mango ones. Well good. So we're going to carry on with there now. A little snack break. I couldn't, I couldn't not buy them. So right here we've come to a pretty well-known mochi spot here in Taitung City. And you can see on the sign here it says it's been open since 1934. So this is like nearly a hundred years old business. So we're gonna head in now. I think they do some really cool, interesting flavors. We'll have a look. So it's really cool here. As soon as you come in, you can see them making all the mochi fresh, literally. Everything's done right in front of your eyes. They're just there rolling them out and then stuffing them with the ingredients. Look at this. Don't get better than this. So it's really busy in here. We're just waiting to order. But they've got a few, they've got like five different flavors. You'll see, you'll see when we order. This is an absolute madness. Look at this. They've just brought a massive cloth out and thrown all this filling onto that table. This is mad. I've never seen all like it. So we're at the front now and I'm going to show you how many flavours of mochi they have in here. We've got sesame, green bean, peanut, red bean. We've got black peanut mochi. Signature black mochi. I think that might be like um, brown sugar. We'll find out. And then sailfish, this is what this place is known for. Swordfish floss, mochi, that's what we've come for. So we've got we've got a big bag of them up. It's quite heavy, it's heavy that. Okay, how much is it? Go shall One, two, five. One, two, five. Okay, perfect. Cheers here. Okay, here we go. Let's try these. Right, here we go then, let's try those mochi. Right outside the shop there's this little bench. Now they come in these nice little bags, look at this. This is the swordfish floss one. This is a signature. Hey, look at the bags. Nice bags, aren't they? So we'll try a couple. You want the signature? Yeah, I'm going to have this one first. I'm going to try the swordfish floss. This is like the most interesting one. And they look... I'm going to mess the table up here when I get this out because it's full of flour. Look at this. That looks like really good mochi. I mean, we've, we've only eaten mochi a few times here, but... They're so soft already, aren't super they? Super soft <laughs> and fluffy, yeah. Should we go? Yeah, cheers. cheers. Interested to try this one. Mm. 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 Fish floss in mochi. That's weird. In mochi is not usually sweet anyway. It's just the filling that's sweet. So it's the actual mochi itself. Really good. Then you got like a little salty fish floss. So what's that in yours? This is red bean. It's red bean, but it said signature black, so this actual mochi is, is black. Mm. But it's not sweet or anything. No. It's just very, very soft. And it's like stuffed absolutely full of red bean. It's good. But it's like savoury. Mm. That's well interesting. They do say Tai Tung grows some of the best rice in the country. So therefore the mochi should be top notch as well. Should be some of the best. In Asia, shall we say that? Mm. It's good because it's not sticky. It wasn't like not as sticky as well, no. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, when you put one of those much in your mouth, you're then chewing it for the next two, three minutes. Game over. You're not having a chat. 
Even though I'm trying to sing now. You should enjoy it. I swallowed it, man. It was really dry. It's like glooping down my throat. <laughs> now we'll just try one more. We'll try the black peanut. This one sounds really good, doesn't it? This will be full of the crumbled peanut goodness. Look at that. They're really cool. You can like fully flatten them out and like. It's cool, isn't it? You can see it making them all fresh. Mm. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh my goodness, man. Look at that. That's heavenly. Sweet sugar peanut inside. So good. I want another one. So they range from price from 18 to 28 for the swordfish one. Which is alright. That's stuffed that, isn't it? Mm. There's so much filling in it. Well good that one. Fantastic. Proper, proper good match here. Best one. It's a mess though, we're covered in flour, we're covered in <laughs> peanut dust, look at leash. <laughs> mess. It was in my hair at one point as well. Peanut dust. What do you think? That's the best one. Hmm. Best one. There we go. There's your mochi review. If you're in Daitong, check this spot out. It's 1934, you can't go wrong. So after walking around all morning, we definitely noticed that Taitung is a lot quieter than everywhere else we've been in Taiwan. A lot more chilled out, a lot more relaxed. The people are really chilled out. I think the population is only about 100,000. I'll double check, which is fairly small for such a big place. So yeah, it's, um, I like it, I gotta say. It's enjoyable to walk around, you know. Um, <laughs> in Taipei, for example, there's just so many of these lighted cross rolls and you just, it takes you forever to get anywhere, but here, no, it's chilled out. You can just go wherever, walk wherever. It's very walkable. Just a bit windy. All right, so we've come for another snack here in Taitung City. We're in Eastern Taiwan. We're in a coastal city. What better to get than some fried seafood cakes? So this place looks really good. Just got speaking to a few people here, everyone's really nice. This guy's just helped us like understand the menu. So I think we're gonna get a squid cake, oyster cake, and then they also have radish cakes and they have like fried fish cakes, green onion cakes. I don't know, we're gonna find out, but it looks really good and everything's fresh fried. It smells really good. Isn't Is it, it good? How to? <laughs> it smells really good, I said the air smells really good. We've got a nice breeze. Taitung's a nice place. So we're waiting our turn now, everyone's holding loads. Look at it, it's just this little like, what we, I was going to call it a shack, that sounds a bit um, nasty, but yeah, it is like kind of just a shack. And everything's fairly cheap, like 35, 25, not bad. So wait a turn. Exact. Yeah, hungry. I'm hungry. I'm watching how she packs it up, she literally just puts it on a paper plate and puts it in a carrier bag. <laughs> Ready for you to take all yeah, and eat? Yeah, Right, so we'll, we'll get in here. I can help you. Maybe you can help us. <laughs> oh, can I tell you what we get? Can we get this one? one? For uh, one? Yes, and then can we get one, one, one? Oh, one. Okay, one. 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 Oh, 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 do they have everything? Yes. Okay, okay. This one, this one, this one. Okay, perfect, yes. Yeah. Okay. Do a shout in. Just okay. There we go. Shish here, thank you so much. There we go. Really nice that guy's help us, really nice. I'm telling you, the people in Taiwan are so helpful, so kind, always. So that was 90 for four things. That's really good. I'm excited to eat these. Coming out fresh. Thank you my friend, she's here. Thank you so much. So we can actually eat here. Our mate has just asked for us and they said we can eat here on this table. I don't know if you usually can. Goodbye, nice to meet you. I don't know if you usually can but but they said we can today so we're just gonna sit here next to the queue. And yeah we're still waiting. Everything is literally done fresh and there's there's so many people so you know it's gonna be good. I'm excited. Right so I've just nipped into the back of the shop because you can see they're making everything fresh here. I just wanted to come and have a look, so that he's literally right here putting some pork chops into that batter, like a green onion batter, and then everything's just fried, very fresh. 
And it comes out onto the shelf to drip. Put all the green on the end. This looks really good. I mean, this is a legendary little scene here, isn't it? Okay, shit, shit. So now we're gonna work for our food. <laughs> Bloody hell, boss man looks like a legend in there. It's like he's been doing it for 50 years, like, no sweat. Oh, the food is here, this looks so good. Shit, shit, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. What is this sauce it's come with? We've got some beautiful chilli oil and a mystery sauce, looks like a gravy. And then what have we got here, Leash? We've got a bit of a mix, so what's what? So Let's have a look. I think this one is the radish bird. Let's get my chopsticks out. Do you know what that looks like? What? A dab. <laughs> like a, from an English chip Yeah, it looks exactly like a dab. So let's see what we've got. We've got, is this the squid? What is this? Is that the squid cake? We've got the green onion cake. There's the fried oyster cake, I believe. Wow, we just got fried goodness and the sauce. Do we give that a little mix? A little mix up. It smells very um, seafood. There's a fishy smell in the air. Fried seafood. Look at that. That's quite interesting. Right, here we go. What do we try first then? All the choices, decisions, decisions. The green onion cake looks really good. Look at that. What is in that? Is it green onion? No. Everything looks really good. Yeah, look, you can see like layers of chives. I know there's loads of them in there, isn't there? Mm. So I, I don't know what to get. First, I think I'm going to try this one, which is this the squid cake? Yeah. There you go, look at that. It smells actually quite good. What are you going to get? I'm going to get the same. Right, let's give these a dip. Cheers. Into this magic sauce, eh? Look at that. <laughs> looks really good. Try not to spill it. As expected, fantastic. Not extremely oily. It's not got like a stinky seafood taste, it's nice, fresh tasting. That batter is so crispy. Mm. Not like, like you said, not oily, not soggy, but really crunchy and good, like light light. But the squid cake inside is nice and soft, it's not chewy at all. So try a green onion cake. Let's try everything while we're here. Look at that, it looks fantastic. It's like a gravy, this sauce. Oh, really good again. Mmm, looks perfect, that. Obviously, it's fried a bit oily, but then you've got the veg. You know what I mean? Mmm. That's, that's really good. That's good. <laughs> you can see everyone's just constantly pulling up. This is a busy spot. And then we got the Taiwanese classic, the radish cake. These are always good. Never let you down. I'm gonna eat it without sauce. Oh yeah. That batter is so good. Really? Yeah, it's perfect. Mm. You can't beat a plate of fried stuff. You can't beat it sometimes. It's not too thick the batter either, like it's just really thin. Well, ah, I love this stuff. The radish cake in Taiwan. It's epic. It's very good. How to, how to. It's so good, delicious. How to. Hi, how to. It's so good. Yeah, there's always lots of people, yeah. Okay, have a nice day. Oh, you've got a plate. Maybe she was saying it's the most delicious. She was saying it's the most delicious. Cute. Now we got to try the um, main attraction now. If I can manage to grab it. So, I'll try and show you this. This is stuffed with oh my goodness me it's quite heavy i'll get the um there we go so this is stuffed with little oysters i think i believe that's what this is and green onion and yeah let's give this a dip oh no i've dropped it in we'll give this a dip it's heavy and we'll try that bite though we all the goodness in the end look at that Really good. That's the star of the show. Most expensive thing on the menu at 35 Taiwanese dollars. Really good, like oyster, green onion. That's well good. Yeah, that's that's delicious. That. Mm. That's really good, and it's just amazing because he's literally making them behind us. Mm -hmm. Awesome, making more fresh. 
Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, Thank you. Cheers. Very good. It was bloody delicious. What's he doing there? I think he were, weren't he? I think he was chomping on some beet on that. I don't know. Okay. Cheers, cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Hello. Cheers. Ni hao. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Thank do you. Do you eat here a lot? Yes. It's very delicious, oh, isn't it? It's thank really you. Good. What are you getting? Are you getting the oyster? Oh. What, what are you favorite? going to eat? What is your favorite? Most delicious. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Number, okay. This one. Yes. The one that's san, sansu, sansu. Yes. 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 Genuinely nice. Easy going people. So, we've just spotted this sign up here across the road. What's this? Liji traditional tea shop since 2008. Maybe we'll get a tea. Let's have a look. A little Taiwanese tea shop. So we've got all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I don't know what any of that is. They've got an English translated menu actually. So we got Got all kinds of. Oh, do they have um, the, the winter melon and milk? Uh, We've not tried that. There's a lot of stuff we need to try. Okay. Anyhow, maybe we should ask the man. They also have like sour plum tea, pineapple green tea, yakult green tea. Ooh, white gourd, is that it? Maybe it's that, I yeah. I think it is. Uh, white gourd is like thing. winter melon. Winter melon. Is that winter white this? White gourd. Uh, winter melon? Yeah. You do like a uh, winter melon milk tea? Is how to? Is good? Good, but no. No have? Uh, oh, no have, no okay. What do you recommend? Uh, most delicious? Uh, like traditional, like, um, I don't know. What shall we drink? It's hard when you face with the menu this big. Green tea latte. Green, green tea, tea latte. latte? Green tea and milk? Right, we need to have a look, don't we? So we've just seen they've actually got a guava series on at the minute. We've got guava yakult. Please can we have a large guava yakult? Guava yakult. The one that is 55. U Ushiu. Ushiu. 55? Yes. yes, yes. Just one please. One. We'll just get one, yeah. We'll get one of these like a guava and yakult. Just that. Oh yeah, we can put it in our little thing. <laughs> okay? Okay. Let's see. Do we have 55? Got 55, 55 Taiwanese dollars. So we did really want to try the um, winter melon milk drinks, but they don't have any. Got it. It is what it is. We'll make do. This looks really good as well. Classic pearl milk tea, Taiwanese bubble milk tea, tea, ice cream, tea in the tea shop. What's that one? Tea. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Perfect. I like the cup, it's very cute. All right, here we go. There we go. What is it? It's just a guava drink. I don't know. Guava yakko drink. All right, here we go. So we actually got speaking to a lad and it turns out it's just a franchise. We just saw the sign saying like since 2008, I thought it was like a bloody independent business. It's turned out it's a franchise, but we'll try the drink anyway. It is quite good. As you'd imagine, it tastes like guava and yakult, exactly like that. It's got like... Yeah, guava yakult drink. I mean, it is what it says it is on the tin. Is it good? It is good though, yeah. Oh yeah. I say that because we do like to support, you know, like the smaller businesses, but it is what it is. There we go. Lee GT shop. Weekend vibes on the cup. Right. So the plan now is we're going to head to the course, we're going to head to the beach here in Taitung City. We're going to check it out, see what it's like, we're going to watch the sunset, that's the plan. So we're going to walk down here, literally, what, maybe 10 minutes from where we're staying down here. Lee should have saying, how is this a large and not an XL? Because that, to me, right, is massive, look at that. I'm telling you, you get a, a bubble tea in England, it costs like double the price, triple the price, more, and it's like tiny shit. See this house right here? Looks like a crack den, doesn't it? But I actually read there's a little story behind this. Now I believe, let me try and not get run over. There's a bike, friend. He's gonna let me go. 
that's one thing I'm going to tell you actually in Taiwan. Whenever you cross the road, so we're just so used to crossing the road on the bikes going behind us like, like they would in Vietnam here, they stop. So it throws you off. Anyway, the story is I think a geezer built this himself all by hand. It's passed away now, so it's just there. And every year it gets battered by a typhoon and like crumbles a bit. I think I'm right. Let me know if that story was correct. We're pretty much at the beach now, it's just over there, so we're going to check that out now. But while we're here, I'm going to show you this street because there's loads of good looking food like one, two, literally every single business here looks really good and delicious. And they're all really busy. So you've got everything here beaches, temples, food. Look at this, this is outside a temple. She sold out, we were going to get one, it's like a tofu pudding. She sold out. You can also rent bikes here. Everybody just renting like a cycle or an electric bike and just like zooming around here. All right, here we are on a very windy Taitung city beach. Check it out then. Look at the grey sky. So it's like a rocky beach and we've got all these big rocks, loads more rocks. And the sea is really rough. Probably won't catch you swimming in it. Yeah, probably not. So I'll take you down there and show you. But you can, um, you can just see what's going on. Got a nice like bike. Cycle park behind there. Behind the city, obviously, you've always got the mountains that are just covered with clouds, and then yeah, we'll just sit and have a look. Right here we are, right by the seafront. It is so windy, I need to hold this high, so it's literally gonna fly off. So we're just gonna get a chair. Got Leash a chair. Go get me a chair. Oi! There we go. And then let's sit here. And watch the sun set. Looks like it's gonna be a nice one. And just watch the sea, the power of the ocean. Look at it, it's rough. Now this reminds us of the beaches in Iceland, you know, like the, um, the cold, rough seas. Look at it, you wouldn't want to go for a swim in that, would you? Let us know. You want to go for a swim? Pass on it. Look at it. I bet they've got some pull on them, them waves. But yeah, it's actually quite beautiful. I bet if some were out, you'd, you'd like to sit here for a while and chill out. Look at the state of this. This is one of the weirdest things ever. So in here, there are a load of random animals. We've got one goose, like three goats, or two geese. There's some ducks at the back. There's chickens. They're like silky chickens, they've got the long hair on their legs and then there's like these black chickens, where have they gone? They're like jet black, every part of the body is black. Two geese At least they're like from here. I know where are they all coming from? Two geese, oh the, the geese, oh they're all under this house. Or oh, whatever this is, they're all on. Let me show you the geese, can you see them? Oh my gosh, the scared of the geese. So yeah, I have no idea what's going on here but it bloody stinks of goat milk. What a weird thing. The black chickens though are beautiful. I can't see any. There was one down there. They are really nice. What are the black chickens, Leash? Um, I think it's a chicken from, I don't know where it's from in Taiwan. But it's they grow them here? Yeah, but they grow them here. They grow them? They black, raise them? But everything black. Oh yeah, they've it's got just, like, yeah. Every, yeah, there's nothing on them that isn't black. Right, so come to the Suwei night market here in Taitung City. It's a, like round the day off. Just grab a quick snack. I think this is one of two night markets here. I think this is the smaller one. So they're selling all kinds of shit. I love they're selling perfume and um, it smells strong. But we're interested in the food, so we're gonna head down here and just grab, grab uh, just a quick bite. Some fried noodles there. Fried instant noodles. That doesn't sound very good. So we'll try and find something delicious. First stop here in the night market, we've gone for some steamed beef dumplings. There they go, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, four, sixty Taiwanese dollars, they're only little. And then we've got this, um, I've made a little dipping sauce, we've got garlic, a load of this um, fiery red chilli and then the soy sauce. And it's windy, everything's flying all over the shore. So we'll just give this a mix and let's go for it. The garlic's always weirder, it's like foamy. So we'll get one. Look alright, don't they? You can never go wrong with a dumpling, so let's give it a nice big dip. There we go. Cheers. Really good. Mm. Very juicy inside. Yeah, beef dumpling. Not had beef dumpling yet in this country. Really delicious. Mm. The dip. Mm. The dip we've made. 
It's really good because super spicy, you know. I've done a lot of the chili in. Spicy and garlic in. Chili and garlic. The recipe to a happy life. What do you reckon? Look. Now this will be the second spot of the night. We're gonna get a medicinal pork rib soup, I believe. Look at it bubbling away there. It smells fantastic, so we'll order this up and we'll show you when we get it. I believe it smells really like interesting. And there's some bloody tunes going on Leash. Give us a give us a move. It almost smells like mulled wine. Yeah, that's it, that's yeah, it. It smells well good. Mold wine in like a, a European Christmas market. Obviously it's not, but you see it's like a bloody tea bag in there or something. Here we go then, we've got our medicinal pork rib soup. This looks so good, smells so good. It's a bit dark, so I'm gonna have to light it up for you. Look at all the pork in there. Looks fantastic, look at that. You get three huge pieces, and then we also got this little dip to dip in. It smells good, then. Do you wanna try it, Link? Yeah, try the broth. It smells incredible, very hot. So we haven't actually tried this yet. Oh wow, that is really, really good. Wow. Almost a little bit sweet actually, like super Quickly try the broth. There we go, I'm excited to try this. Oh, it's really good, really interesting taste, yeah. Oh, there's so much going on there. Believe me, that's good. Look at that for a piece of pork. It looks incredible, I'm gonna try that. So much meat on that. Oh wow. So tender. Oh. Oh my god, you can tell that's cooked like a long time in that broth. Well good. That's all I can say is like, it's, it's really delicious. And the sauce as well, like the little dipping sauce is really interesting. It's like salty, sweet, spicy. It's a bit like sour, it's got it all. Mm. Yeah. Very salty. Oh. Good it's decent value that as well, 90 Taiwanese dollars and you get four huge pieces of pork like, yeah. There we go, I'll try and show you this last one. Like, that's a, that is good value, Leash has got one as well. Good value, tasty food. Wanted to try this one for a bit, glad we had it. Good, good one, would get again, would eat again. Tasty. So we've now come across a lady who's making this super interesting steamed dessert. And I think the 20, so we're gonna get a couple of these. Is it Ashi? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna get one of each. I think one's sesame and one's peanut. So this dessert is sick. How can we not order this? You essentially stuff this little thing with the, is it some type of rice flour? And then throws in sesame or peanut and then steams it on there. You can see that's just finished steaming, so she's gonna scoop it out just like that. Oh, it's not finished yet. But then when she's finished it, scoops it out, throws it into a bag, and a fresh one goes on. There is the finished thing, that's so cool. Look at that. The steamed rice cake, and she also sells star fruit juice here. You can see, because we've got these. So these are 20 each, I think. We're also going to have to get star fruit juice, because we're just going to speak to the lady next to you. She said it's just 10, which is a cracking price, if so. Okay, she she. Ushi. Okay? Okay, she she. Right, there we go, 50 for two of them cakes and a drink, look. Let's take them away. Super threat, hot. Hot. They've got so much in these dark markets. There's a fried chicken and fried pork man here, and then next door there's a... Um, it's just like spicy tofu and blood cake. That looks really good, that. Look at that. That looks fantastic, it looks spicy, it looks nice. Bloody pack though, look. Classic Taiwanese night market. Busy, busy, busy bumblebees. Right, it's so busy in the market, so we just had to like nip into this little corner to try our snacks. What have we got? We've got the star fruit juice. Let's try that. Ten. Taiwanese dollars, that's ridiculous. It's that. so good. It's like salty almost. It tastes like an electrolyte drink. Tiny bit bitter. That's really good. It's a classic, right? It's really good. What else have we got? I've uh, got some chicken. And I've got, I got fried pepper chicken. and plum powder on the chicken. So you order this little fried chicken pieces and it has like seven or eight different powders, like flavoured yeah. powders. And the plum is really good in Taiwan. The plum powder, I really like it. And also you have to get pepper with everything. 
no denying it's really good. The it's fried chicken is always really good. It's still good. And then we have these. I know, we need to get these out. We'll get these out and cut back. So here we got those steamed rice cakes. Now let's take a look at these. These are serious homemade snacks. Leisha's got the sesame. I thought I'd order peanut. So now it's pork floss. This is going to be interesting. They feel a bit sticky. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, still it's like warm. a sticky dough. Yeah, but it feels super sticky. So we'll try these. Cheers. Oh. That's good. Why does mine taste like treacle toffee bonfire toffee? What? That's not pork she's putting that. What's she giving me? Is it brown sugar? Yeah, so it's, it's just like palm sugar. Maybe it's palm mm. sugar. Miscommunication. That was kind of pointed. Oh That's so good. I know. Oh I good. Did, and this is better than mochi. Ooh, Different than really? mochi, yeah, I think it's better. It's like a firm, it's like a firm cake. But only a little bit chewy. Oh, this one's a one. It's oh like bonfire top it. It's palm sugar. Palm sugar, yeah. Mm. Let's try this. Oh my gosh. I like a black sesame roll. Mm. Mm. Sesame is always good. That is the best thing ever. I feel like I have to, we have to get one more. <laughs> They're so good. So good and it's made to order. You show yeah. up, you order, she makes it. You've got it a second after she's made it. Mm. Right, there we go. That'll be the end of the video. That was our first impressions of Taitung. First day on Taiwan's East Coast. We've had a cracking day. We've done about 25,000 steps. We've been everywhere. And the city itself, the city Taitung, doesn't get that much attention. People come to the county like explore around but the city itself is really nice we've had a good day haven't we yeah we have i think it's very underrated i think there's a lot to do here there's a lot to eat um so yeah i think yeah. it deserves a bit of a shout out yeah people are really nice and yet there's just the city is um surrounded by nature you've got the mountains the coast I, I just don't see what's not to love and it's quiet quieter than everywhere else so we like it so yeah cheers for watching Night market were good as well. Night market were really good, that one we just went to. I forgot the name, but it was really good. Because it again, it was busy, but it wasn't like super busy. There were no queues for anything. And everything was different. There wasn't like loads of the same stuff. There was lots of really interesting stuff, yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. So Tai Tung, big shout out. Very nice place. Good night. So we've come in to the funniest claw machine centre ever here in Taiwan. The people in this place are legends. <laughs> we've already won 10 Kinder Buenos and a box of pineapple cakes. I kid you not, we're gonna have a do on here now for some lobster crackers. Now look how low they all are, high they all are even, so I think you can just scoop round and win them all. I mean, it looks like we're gonna win about six. So here we go, we go straight, straight round the back. Oh, wait. Oh. Where do I go now? I messed it up. But don't worry, we can have another day, we go around the back, you go around the back. So we're gonna go again. I don't know what's going on in here. The people are just like moving everything for us. They're absolute yeah. legends. He, I kid you not, there's a Kinder Bueno machine over there, right? And he put about, he just, he stopped me. I was gonna put the money in, he ran over and he stopped me and he like literally put 10 on the edge. So we just plunged three times, he got 10. So here we let's have another deal on this. He's watching me now, so it's pressure off. <laughs> Trying to go around the back quick. <laughs> Oh no, go on, that has to win. That... <laughs> go on, can I? <coughs> Is that allowed? Can, can I Let do a little gentle persuasion? Oh, shit, <laughs> shit. Okay, 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 shit, okay, shit. Okay, that was funny. <laughs> we got one. I don't know. I don't know how to manage that. There we go. We're flipping addicted to these things. This is the best, best bloody part of our one. Right, so we've got an absolute hole in here, but now the same, because we've won so much. I use the word won very loosely there, the term won. We could do some sort of like tombola spin to win some big prize. I don't know what's going on, so we're going to find out. Hopefully they're not rigging this for us as well. <laughs> what do I do? What's this? He puts a little ball in there. What, what do I do? I spin. Oh, okay. Good job. Have you? Oh, and so one falls. Oh, okay. Oh, right. 
Okay, oh, yeah. a little white ball fell out. Now what? Yeah. Yeah. This two, one. Oh, you get to pick one thing. Oh, oh, okay, shit, shit. Okay. One free, gift. one free gift out of here. Oh, so this is the white shelf, and then there's like different colours for different things. What's this soy sauce? <laughs> oh, yes, little soy sauce. Look at that of salt. At least you need to pick very carefully, yeah, because we need something we can use. Salt, Himalayan crystal salt. We don't need any salt. What else have we got? What's that on top of that little red thing? Oh, it's a nice key This maybe can to fly. Can not? Oh, you can't fly with it. This is a plant. Oh, it's the flower that's from the earth. Oh, okay. So we might get bloody to cough us at the airport. Yeah, we'll take the salt. Is this okay? Okay. Okay, where's our little bag? Thank you. Well, I say Thank little so bag. Flipping it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bloody hell. Look at this, everyone. Look what we've walked away with. So we went in there. We were just going to spend 100 each. We ended up spending 350 in total. Like nine quid and we've got all this. That's got to be best claw machine haul we've ever been in. But what a good way to round off our addiction here in Taiwan. Now, I don't know what video this is going to go in. But it's going to go in a video because it's legendary. That was so much fun. The people in there were legends. Definitely. So what dodgy going on. But I don't care as a customer. So here we go. Look at this. Absolute haul. We nearly won on the tombola. They got the biggest prize down. And put an extra ball in for that so we'd win it. But we, I span it. I was shy. I didn't win it. We won some salt instead. But yeah, look at this. Like 10 Kinder Buenos. Hell, it's an absolute. Look at that. Oh, there we go. 